van die artikelen is deze dimmer. Het is vrijwel onmogelijk om erachter te komen waar de beveiliging zit. Ik kan het label niet ontdekken. PJ? In de knop? In de knop zelf. Hierin. De techniek die zich nu aftekent, die RFID, die kleine chip, dat is inderdaad denk ik het antwoord in de zoektocht waar winkeliers en fabrikanten lange tijd mee bezig zijn geweest. This morning on today's health, a computer chip that could be implanted under your skin so the doctors can quickly access your medical records. The FDA just gave a Florida company the go-ahead to do it. You might recall about two years ago, a family was implanted with a Vera chip right here on the Today Show. Scott Silverman is the chairman and CEO of Applied Digital Solutions, the maker of the Vera chip. Scott, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Lester. Explain to me briefly what the Vera chip is and what it is supposed to do. Vera chip is a tiny miniaturized RFID or radio frequency identifier identification microchip. It's 11 millimeters by 1 millimeter. It's about the size of a grain of rice. Well, we've got one sitting there by a penny to, uh, to give us a little perspective of the size. Very Correct. tiny. You implant it under the skin how? It gets injected, just like getting a shot of penicillin or any medicine that you would get in a doctor's office. It goes in the upper right arm, which is the area that our physicians have chosen for ease of access as well as biocompatibility. And in a minute we'll talk about how you scan it, but tell sure. me what information is on that. Why that would be of great use if I show up in an emergency room. Yeah, on the chip itself is only a unique identification number. And Verichip can be used for the medical application as well as the security or a financial application. In the case of a medical application on a database that ties to the chip, you can provide all your medical information such as medical device information, medical records, and personal information. You choose what information goes on there and you choose the type of affiliates such as emergency rooms that could have access to that information. Is, is this the same thing that I have implanted under my dogs. I, they did. I know this sounds horrible, but they did something on my dogs where if it gets lost, you right. can match the dog. Actually, up. it's not horrible. Um, our sister company, Digital Angel Corporation, manufactures a product that Shearing Plow distributes by the name of Home Again. Home Again is the implantable microchip for dogs and cats. Same technology. Same technology. Millions of them a year go into dogs and cats around the world. In fact, a few weeks ago here on the Today Show, you had the American Kennel Club who actually scanned some, a dog on national television with our chip and our scanner. All right, enough about dogs now. Yep. Again, you go to the emergency room, this information is there, but to access this, the hospital has to have a scanning device. How soon will hospitals have the technology to match up with this chip? Well, thanks to the FDA and their diligent work over the last two years, we now have the clearance to go to market with both the chip and the scanner. All right, it's, show it, me how this works, because you've sure. got a scanner here, and you have a chip implanted is it under, underneath your right it's arm. in the right arm. You power up a scanner, right. and you simply scan the arm, and once you scan the arm, You'll see that the identification okay, and, information... And on, our, on the laptop here you have it hooked up to, it says some number. But that doesn't tell me anything about your health condition now. They, from that number, they access your health right, records. Right, that's correct. If you go into further detail on the database about Scott Silverman, it'll have my driver's license information, it'll have medical information, it'll have financial information, and it'll have security information for ingress and egress into facilities. All right, you hear the sound of the background, people saying, Big Brother, too much information, a little scary. Mm -hmm. How do you respond to that? Well, you know, it's interesting. I used to get that question a a lot two years ago. Uh, today, we've gotten it a lot less. In fact, uh, the Attorney General of Mexico and some of his staff have received this chip for security purposes. And when the acceptance rate of the product goes up significantly like it has, some of the privacy concerns go down. But to answer your question directly, Lester, what most people are concerned with is the invasiveness of this, that it goes in your body. And as we know with pacemakers and other medical devices, that when people accept it for its applications and for its ability is when it will work its way into society. It won't be tomorrow, it won't be next week, but two, three, five years from now, slowly but surely, it will work its way into the mainstream. All right, Scott Silverman, thanks very much for coming. Thank on you. Talking. Doctors want to place a computer chip under your skin. Sound bizarre? It could save your life. You're watching Fox 5 News at 10. What New Yorkers watch works for shopping. If some have their way, you'll be scanned too. Find out why. Coming up in just a few minutes. It's hard to wrap your brain around all the technology available today. Imagine having your entire medical history embedded under your skin. Sounds great, right? Well, you haven't heard the other side. Dr. Steve Salvatore takes a look at the Verichip. 
There's a couple times I've been put in the hospital and I was unable to communicate that I was a diabetic and what medications I was on. Molly Phillips hopes her worst nightmare never happens again. To make sure, she had a new device called the VeraChip, a computer chip about the size of a grain of rice placed under her skin. The VeraChip is a device in which we have programmed into it a number, a, a regular serial number which is matched to a database, a secure lockdown computer database. That database okay. contains Molly's entire medical record, everything from her diabetes to the exact dose and type of medication she's on. Hackensack University Medical Center is the first hospital in our area testing the new technology. Dr. Joseph Feldman, chairman of the ER, says the idea will save lives. A lot of patients that come into the emergency department, they're either unable to or unwilling to because of the anxiety or pain that they might be in to give us accurate and timely information. Dennis Porterfield is having a chip implanted today. He has three stents in his heart and had part of his lung removed because of cancer. Why are you having the uh, chip placed today? Well, I do a little traveling, and I'd like to be assured that no matter where I go, I'll be able to uh, tell doctors what I've had or had done to me and what I'm taking for medicine, etc. Okay. Yep. And that's it. So how did it go? It's a piece of cake. That, uh, there's virtually no pain. The goal of the program is to be in every hospital nationwide. All patients would automatically get scanned to see if they have a Vera chip as soon as they get to the hospital. But there's a problem. Different companies are competing for the same market with slightly different technologies. The big challenge is, is getting the, the medical profession in unison to use the same type of uh, operating system um, so that if, if my patient goes to Orlando, Florida, Disney World and, get, and requires health care, that the, the device that they use in that ER is able to read the chip that we implanted here. Critics say the Vera chip is the ultimate invasion of privacy. It's like Big Brother gone awry. But patients don't see it that way. No one can go into your computer or your chip to find out your information. You have to have a code and a, and a password. Ultimately, it comes down to personal choice, since the Vera chip program is voluntary. For Dennis Porterfield, the decision was easy. Safety thing, I think it's you know, cheap, cheap prevention. Dr. Steve Salvatore, Fox 5 News. The microchip technology is moving like lightning, we're told. There are newer chips already available on the market that update your medial history. You could, that's medical history. You can actually erase data from a chip and put new data down. Modern homes are jam-packed with electronic appliances, but they all work separately from each other. Now engineers have designed a home where the appliances know what's going on around them, and they can make decisions for themselves. Much of Olga Gelbert's life is becoming a big waste of time. That thought is on her mind as she walks through her front door and automatically throws her keys on a nearby shelf. It becomes even more obvious when she brews an after-work pot of coffee grabs a cool drink from the fridge. As her shopping list grows, so does her belief in the futility of her daily chores. When her friends arrive to watch a movie, Olga knows that much of what she's doing is absolutely unnecessary. Hey, come on. Hey, how are you doing? 